Very exhilarating. Invigorating. Invigorating or um, exhilarating? Both. I'm actually worried that I don't have enough water in this bag to actually rinse everything. I gotta almost crouch down to kind of get rinsed. Tall people problems. Yeah. Tall. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh. You gotta go, you gotta go. I think your marshmallow's on fire. That was quick. Why you film me while I go pee? I'm just making sure everything's okay. Beetles were hitting me in the head. Their own <laughs> spittoon. <laughs> So what are we packing up for, bud? Uh, going camping. Camping, but wait. Time. But wait, hey, we we already camp. We already we already camp. What are you talking about? Tent camping. Tent camping. That's right. We switch. We're we gonna go live in a tent now instead of the camper. No. No. <laughs> okay. Hey, we got a lot going on today, so we're heading out to do some tent camping. And of course, we're gonna be doing that with the tenter.com, where everything's kind of set up and glamping for you. Did you get our package? Yeah. Okay. But first, we have a big delivery going on today, and I'll talk about that maybe. We're gonna see if we can actually fit that in the back of the truck. So, ready, bug? Yeah. Okay. So we just showed up at our site here, at our tenter site. And we're a little bit later than we wanted to, but we're gonna get settled in and we're gonna show you around a little bit. It's actually pretty cool, so this is kind of nice. Ready? Yes, give us a tour. Right, let's go. Well, I see we have the fire pit area here. We'll have to uncover that. Check it out. Comes with the grill, ash bucket. Outside, max. Yes, that's nice. Picnic table, they've got another tent. Okay, yeah, so it does come with two tents. You can set up a dome tent for anybody else. Well, shaded area. I think this is the first time anyone's been out here this year since it's May. What do you think? Probably the same? Yeah, lots of cobwebs. Yeah, lots of cobwebs. So we'll clean those up. Hey, it's out here. We'll go around and out back in a minute here. Yeah. So it comes with, what's this, five gallons? It's got water in it? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Let's go inside or show me the... All right. Check it out. Oh, that's nice. This is camping, huh? <laughs> this, this is, is camping at its finest. Queen size bed. So another five gallons of water, drinkable water. water. Coffee maker comes with coffee. Of course, mm -hmm. we're gonna be drinking some wild land out here today. We brought the good stuff. Some dishes. Oh, that's great. Soap. Wow, that's much more than I expected. That's yeah. pretty cool. Soap, dishes, toilet paper. So we actually brought a lot washing. more than we needed to, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. Oh, they even got the coffee mug thing in there. Sure. Okay, we weren't too sure. It has a propane heater you can see down there. A little Coleman lantern, two of them. A couple lanterns over here actually has utensils for the grill. Yeah. Some knives. knives. Fire extinguisher. We fire hope we don't need that. Extinguisher. <laughs> grill brush, paper towels, lighter fluid. This is really cool. Yeah. Blankets and oh, um, blankets some and, extra, and hammock and stuff in there. Hammock and laundry. little laundry and toilet paper or extension cord. Okay. Right, okay, this is neat. Yeah, let's go check it out. All right. Check it out. What do you think, buddy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Little string lights. Yeah, they do have power out here too. So, as you can see, if you need to plug in. To ooh, it. yeah, we can we can charge our phones, huh? <laughs> a shower, <laughs> five star, huh? There's room for two in here. Um, go ahead, Corbin. Uh, <laughs> yes. yeah, here it is. This is the piece de resistance. Okay. Oh, it's got a lock. You can actually lock me in. That's not good. Um, okay, it has a lock the other way too. Astronaut potty bags. Astronaut potty bags. Instructions, okay? Make sure the blue bag, these are NASA toilet bags, okay? So it's supposed to take care of any smell, okay, when you're done. So you kind of hang them in there. It's got the powder. It goes into solids and the solids and everything goes into the trash can. Okay, firewood. And we can use anything on the ground. And here's the super solar shower okay is it the right temp for a shower yet not quite well it's only gonna get colder from here on out <laughs> no. i think it's reached its heat peak better go shower
you know, each one of these sites is unique in its own way, and the host or whoever provides can provide what they want, or, um, you know, just it's kind of neat to go online and read about each different site and what they have to offer and stuff like this. So, um, but yeah, we're gonna go do some exploring, we're gonna get set up here, and we'll see you back in a little bit. pretty cool they have these kayaks right here that you can use and a stand-up paddle and you guys again this is all just included with the place so you can come out here and do a little kayaking or paddle boarding you can do some swimming and stuff like that I think we'll spend some time out here the weather's not supposed to be too great tomorrow so we'll see how that goes but maybe do some fishing out here and maybe get out on one of the kayaks we'll see let you go around the whole property here they have rabbits you can take out of the cages and play with they just ask if you put them back uh, donkeys goats a couple properties you can rent this is like their tree house they have the hot tub here behind me you can see they have the seating area grill fireplace and then they have a house you can actually stay in and rent too so there's just a lot going on this property the owner gilda was super nice and it's just a really neat area i think we're going to enjoy it Kind of looks perfect, but still a little hard. See this deliciousness from there? Yeah, pretty good. Cilantro lime chicken. Cilantro lime chicken tacos with avocado, pico de gallo, and queso fresco cheese. We don't eat no hot dogs on a stick. Nah. <laughs> it's just as easy, too. Just chop it all up ahead of time, marinate it all, and uh, just dump it on the grill when you get out here. Just so you guys know, Megan is not a fan of spiders. She can handle most bugs, most things, but she does not like spiders. So I've been on spider detail since we got here and uh, I'm just kind of doing the best I can with that. So <laughs> good luck for her, especially in here. What? I love poking sticks in the fire. <laughs> Ooh, what kid doesn't? <laughs> and grown up. I gotta get me a stick. That thing needs some poking. <laughs> they love seek for the puppies. <laughs> they don't know how to sit in the dirt. good night last night sleeping in the tent very comfortable bed got my wildland coffee here a little fire speaking of wildland coffee i know a lot of you guys who follow my channel or follow us on instagram we work with wildland coffee we're ambassadors for them and a lot of people ask me about it you know it's coffee and tea bag as you can see uh kind of geared towards hikers and campers it's you know just a convenient coffee that you can kind of take anywhere and everybody always asks me though does it really taste good and yes, it does. It's not instant coffee. This is actually really good, high quality coffee beans. And it's nitro flush to stay fresh for an extremely long time in the packets. And not only that, but everything's biodegradable. If you want to, you can take the tea bag. You don't have to hike it back out. The bag, the tea bag, everything can actually be buried in the ground, or you can just hike it back out if you want to. But the convenience of it is great. You don't have to carry a big thing of crappy taste and instant coffee around with you. As much as we camp and do hiking, we take these everywhere. The coffee is great. Now, hey, I'm no expert. I just like what I like, okay? I can't tell you this coffee bean from that coffee bean or why this coffee bean is better. I do know I don't like instant coffee and that's a big thing, you know, when you're trying to hike or do some camping. While I'm not some kind of coffee snob, I just know what tastes good to me. And I can't tell you that this is gonna taste good to you. Um, so everyone has different taste buds, but if you're interested in checking this out, I'll have some links below in the description. 
You can go to the website, check it out. You can even use the promo code 15 no wait. You can get 15% off. Um, definitely recommend trying it out because uh, I feel like if you live in this life and uh, you're a hiker, you do a lot of camping, uh, it's good stuff. So enjoy. <laughs> We wanted to do a, a little bit of a, a camping trip. People probably laugh and say, well, don't you guys camp all the time? Mm -hmm. It's kind of fun to get out here and do something a little bit different and kind of get more of that camping experience, wouldn't you say? Yeah, definitely a departure from the RV life. Yeah, yeah. Needed every once in a while. Yeah, I mean, living in the RV full time is not always, I think, what people think, you know. Uh, we've talked about it before. We're not fishing every day. We don't have campfires every day. It's a lot like normal life with school and, and sometimes work and things going on. So even for us full-time RVers, getting out and doing something like this is kind of just gets us back to our natural hiking and camping state, I guess. Huh? It's more like glamping, though. This is more like glamping. <laughs> <laughs> and what this is, this is through a company called Tenter, uh, tentrr.com. We went on to their website and chose our region or the state that we're in and looked at the sites that were available um, around us and basically there, there's so many different options so we just had to find something that that had all the amenities I guess we wanted yeah um, you can find something you know, we're kind of obviously looking for something close by but what's unique about Tenter I guess is each location kind of has its own unique thing these are just sites set up on people's land so what's cool about the um, Tenter website is you really don't need to bring a bunch of stuff. You don't have to have your own tent, um, your equipment, grills, chairs, cooking utensils, Coleman lanterns. It's all supplied to you right by the Tenter company. So the people who have their own private land and they want to have a Tenter site put on it, uh, Tenter comes out here. They, I, I'm not too sure if they ship them all the stuff and, and the, the host sets it all up or if Tenter actually comes up and sets it all up. But... It's great because each location is unique within its own thing. Some may be on a river, some may be in a field or the forest, or it's just kind of neat like that. Yeah, they're everywhere, and that's yeah. what we were trying to find is something that had had a lot going on. We wanted it to be wanted there to be some fishing, or um, we wanted it to be private. You know, we didn't yeah. want it to be out in an open field. And you can look through all the different um, sites, sites yeah. uh, the tenter sites. Um, in that region and find which one's going to be the most appealing for you. Yeah, because some are on rivers for fishing and, and some may just be more for hiking. Some may just be secluded. Um, this place has tons of stuff to do. So you can go on there. There's over a thousand locations and they have a few different like they have like tenter signature sites. And those are going to have more like amenities stocked with the places. And then they also have like tenter backcountry sites where actually you do bring your own tent. And it's going to be a location more in the backcountry. So it has a little bit of everything for everybody, depending on what you're looking for, I think. We ended up bringing a lot more stuff than we needed to. Yeah, just because we weren't exactly sure what to expect. And yeah. I think um, even when they tell you what the basics are going to be at your site, the host has the option to add more um, yeah you know amenities i guess yeah because you read about it online you're like okay they have this this and that but then you can contact your campground host once you book it and you can ask them questions and they'll tell you oh yeah we have the sheets we have the bedding i mean fire starters paper towels plates napkins knives you know just mm -hmm. just just tons of stuff yeah i mean we basically you know toilet paper all that kind of stuff yeah. so yeah we, did, we didn't need to bring we brought way more than we needed to yep. <laughs> yeah yeah but uh, so far, we've been extremely happy with it. The tent back there is awesome. I mean, it, we had some thunderstorms last night, and everything stayed perfectly dry, and it's very roomy. It's an actual real bed, and there's room in there for a cot. We set up a little cot for a little guy. And I think most sites come with... Some of them have a pop-up tent. Yeah, most have like two tents, like a separate dome tent if you have two more people that you can set up upon request and stuff like that. Anyways, we chose... Six Ponds. Yes. <laughs> Six Ponds um, in Morganton, Georgia. <laughs> this was a great site. We chose this one because it has little kayaks, stand-up paddling, swimming, fishing. It has trails. It has animals. Yeah, I mean, there's some, There's a garden. There's a, all the trails that go through the their whole piece of property, and uh, they allow you to go over their entire property anywhere, anywhere on it. And they also have a the art studio here. 
Oh, yeah, that's where Corbin is. Looks like he's on his way back from oh, there right looks now. Looks like he's coming back <laughs> right now. He's been up there. And the art studio is just packed with canvases and paper and paints, acrylics, glue, scissors. I mean, you name it. Everything. Everything. Crafting. And it's all just free for use. It's great. And they do have some do um, donation boxes on, on this site, you know, which just helps them out the, su the supplies and stuff, which I understand. But... It, it's been really neat. He's been up there painting some pictures and doing things like that. And speaking of which, I'm coming back from painting a picture. And speaking right, of which, here he here. comes. You can come show us, buddy. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Looks good. That's the second one he's done today. And you can take him home. A lot of people also just kind of sign him and leave the pictures up there and stuff. And it's just really something fun for the kids to do or grown-ups. It's a, it's a very peaceful location. And, uh... It's been fun, huh? Here, bud, let's set this here to dry. Okay. All right. Well, you can't beat this. My uh, mom and dad stopped by, and we just brought the fishing poles down here. Corbin's having a good time out there swimming, and uh, we're throwing some lines out here and just catching some little fish. It's a beautiful sunny day, even though the weather is not supposed to be great, so we're really enjoying our tenter experience, and uh, if you guys are in the North Georgia area, and looking for a good site and not kind of undecided, um, definitely check out the Six Ponds Farm. Um, the ponds, plenty of fish, swimming, hiking, the art studio, animals, there's just so much to do. And there's even other, like I said, other places to rent on here. I am not too sure who they rent those through, but if you're looking at staying in like a tree house or a guest house, they have that here too. So just a great area, great day, and we're really enjoying it. So thanks a lot, Tenter. We are enjoying it. Shower time. We're gonna give this a shot. <laughs> I feel pretty gross too. We've been doing some fishing today, and uh, we're two days into this campfire, so um, I'm not too sure. This isn't that warm. It's been hanging in the sun. It's definitely not cold, but uh, we're gonna go see how it does. So feels good. It's very exhilarating. Invigorating. Invigorating or um, exhilarating? Both. I don't know. I'm actually worried that I don't have enough water in this bag to actually rinse everything. I'm not gonna put anything in my beer because <laughs> I think I'd have trouble getting it out. You gotta be, see, you need this bag higher. I gotta almost crouch down to kind of get rinsed. Tall people problems. Oh, 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 we didn't hang that in the sun long enough. We should have took that down to the dock with us where it was really sunny. <laughs> <laughs> now, just so you guys know, this is great for most of the tenter experiences, but on this property here at Six Ponds, they actually do have another bathhouse up by the barn and actually has running water, flushing toilet, and a real shower. So um, that's great for this place. Not every tenter experience is gonna be like that, but I definitely wanted to try this out and do it here. And uh, excuse me while I go rinse. Feel good? <laughs> good. Okay. I can go get smoky again, I guess. <laughs> oh, what'd you like best today? Swimming. Yeah, you liked swimming, huh? Everybody else was fishing, but we couldn't get you out of that water, could we? Nope, my favorite thing was campfire. Campfire. Every kid loves a good campfire. You ready for some s'more soon? Yep. Okay. Get them out. Get them ready. People don't like them this way, but I do. I think your marshmallows on fire. Still see some white. <laughs> this is not this one. Gotta watch this marshmallow drip on her chin and <laughs> scold her or something. She won't put that in the video. Got <laughs> any No, that's pretty good. A little bit on your lip. <laughs> A white stuff on your lip there. I want mine brown and warm though. Just not brown, not black. Just brown on the outside and warm on the inside. Are you guys catching this? This is a pretty tall order here that I've just been given. And from the looks of his face, I better not screw this up. Mm. <sighs> just sitting by the fire. Enjoying our morning coffee. Uh, it's our last day here and we're gonna be packing it up in a little bit. We really enjoyed it out here though. This property's been great. So 
If you're on the Tenter website and you're in the North Georgia area, definitely recommend the Six Ponds Farm here. There's a lot to do. It's a beautiful area. Yeah, it's just been overall a, a great experience out here. We've really enjoyed it. But it's time to get back, get back to the RV. And I have something big coming up, something big to do with our RV. So stay tuned for that. We're going to have a video coming out on that soon and some changes that we're making. And uh, make sure you check out our channel to um, see what's going on there. And as always, get out there, start your full-time RV adventure, because why wait? Catch you guys next week.